Hello everyone. Welcome to Pella Venture. My name is Gokul and I'm here to talk about Pella Venture, which is an experiential entrepreneurship program. One that I've conducted in rural and urban schools for the age groups between 12 to 15, typically 7th grade to 9th or 10th grade students. Part of that age group is because they have good understanding of certain concepts important for entrepreneurship. Their minds are fresh. They have great ideas, unbounded energy, and less pressure uh, resulting from the upcoming board exams and things like that. So let's look at what Pella Venture is all about. It's an experiential entrepreneurship program which is heavily driven by the approach of learn by doing. It's a very practical program, one that has personalized mentorship with hands-on session. And where we run this program, we help with teachers, we go to schools, we work with a group of students and go through the entire process of brainstorming, ideating, forming companies, building products, marketing them and selling them. And in a nutshell, in about 50 hours, which is spread across maybe two to three months, the students get to experience their first entrepreneurship, venture making, company building uh, experience. It's a very fulfilling and gratifying experience for the students who go through it because they just don't go through only teaching, but they also get to do um, the work in a very practical manner, literally forming companies and being entrepreneurs themselves. Without introduction, I'd like to get into the program itself. Um, the first part of the program, it's, it's divided into various sessions. The first part is mostly an icebreaker. And this is largely tailored towards how a teacher or a person who's conducting this program should be doing the very first session. This session is all about bringing the students together in a particular forum, regardless of which group of students are gonna form companies, bring the entire signed up uh, a list of students and have an icebreaker session. Part of the icebreaker is to bring out their interests, their talent and their ideas in a manner that they can think in a very simple way, not long drawn time bound one, few minutes. They're able to introspect on certain questions. They're able to answer them. They're able to share and observe what others answered and look at it at the broader picture. And the way you do this first icebreaker session is you spend about 10 minutes in this activity. You ask each participant on who their idol is, who do they look up to, and, and who they admire the most, get the names of that person. What do they like about them? Three words that describes what they like about this person that they idolize, about their character. What are they most interested in? It's a separate question. What's their biggest interest? What do they like to do? What is their ambition when they grow up? What do they want to become? And then if you were to give a thousand rupees, what will they do with it? In terms of what ideas do they have? Uh, will they go buy something? Will they go build? Will they do something else with that money? Just a simple five question, just as an icebreaker, uh, capturing who they are idle, what they like about them. And that aside, what are they most interested in as an individual? What's their ambition? And what would they do with a thousand rupee gift if they got it and once you do this activity you want to collate the input from all of the students and then share it with everyone an example of such a sharing is you know about who do they idolize and who their role models are you have the you know a table that calls out which individual gave this in the participant the second column is who do they idolize and what are the three things that they like about them and from their input you synthesize and write as a teacher or a coordinator share this entire table with the students it's good to look at this and this is just an example as you can see student names are uh, fictitious names but some of the who they idle and what they like about them are examples of what we picked from our earlier sessions we've done several batches of this so I just picked a few examples to show you and it's a wide variety of uh, uh, role models and, the, and and then also the things that they like or the characteristic that they like about this person. Once as a coordinator or trainer that you've brought this table together, you want to share it with the entire group of participants in Pella Venture session. And the reason is they get to see what they wrote, they get to see the diversity of participants in the room, 
what others thought that they liked. Some of them might be their friends that they know. Some of them could be a surprise. It also has a moment of people looking at each other, discussing, giggling and saying, hey, I didn't realize that you knew this person or that person. And, and more importantly, what they liked about this person is a very important aspect. One of the things that I'd like to do after this session, which I encourage the trainers to do, is also take all of these characteristics that they wrote and do a little word doodle of sorts. And this is uh, a doodle that uh, I did uh, with some of the uh, uh, characteristics that uh, the participants gave in one of them. It'll be interesting to you know kind of bring this and show hey, there are some lot of positive behaviors in this word doodle. You know, ranging from a number of things that we like to be and what they thought was good in that person. And as you can see in this word wordle example, it is really something that the students in one of the sessions, uh, ice breaking sessions used. And it's a very important aspect because I use this also as important behaviors and characters. Every entrepreneur or a person who wants to achieve something through a company should have. And every one of these characteristics that they idolize in a person, regardless of whether that person was an entrepreneur or not, are lessons that they can learn from or behaviors that they can emulate to be a successful entrepreneur. That's the intent of doing this word doodle. And if you can think about it, this first session itself may be a 30 minute session, but you may show this wordle and that previous table of what everybody wrote, or it could be done ahead of starting the session where you give a Google form of sorts for the, the participants to fill answering those five questions. And then when they come into the first icebreaker session, you could actually present this data, both the table and the wordle to get the team all warmed up. So that's pretty much the first two parts of what do they like, who do they like and what characteristic do they like about them. And the next one is about what is their interest and, uh, and what do they want to grow up to be? The ambition, the second, the third and fourth question. And here is an example. And again, this is, I encourage the trainers or the coordinators to run this ahead of time in a Google form before the first session and then present it as an entire class. You don't need to put the name of the participants here, but uh, bring all of that data together. What is their interest and what do they like to become when they grow up? And that kind of also shows a little bit of the diversity of thoughts and ideas and similarities of thoughts and ideas and interests that, peop, uh, that the participants have, students have. So it's a good way to kind of bring them together. Um, so this should be some little bit of work done by the coordinator ahead of time to synthesize and put in a summary format of this sort. And this helps them, uh, you know, to get a feel for who their co-participants are. Again, a nice breakup. With that, um, the uh, last question was, what would you do with the the thousand rupees if they got it as a gift? That's more a fun activity. We don't expect the participants to say, hey, if I got it, I would go, you know, start a company of sorts. But they may say things like, I would like to buy this, or I would like to buy something for somebody else, or I would like to gift. These are typical ones that come out, but those are also interesting where things to share as a group without calling the names out. Uh, but that was the icebreaker. With that, that's the first part of uh, the Pella Venture session. In the next session, we'll talk in the video more about teams, how to form teams, what are the key roles that are there in a, in a company, and what do those roles mean in this entrepreneurship program, and how to create those ideas and build products and things of that sort. So that would be in the next session. Thank you.